Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a minute and um, so I am just excited to be back home from Ireland. Um, it took me a while obviously as you've seen in my previous vlog you know to finally show and share my trip. Um, when I got back just got busy with you know work getting back to life and you know just wish I was still like on vacation and so wish I was in Ireland but it was such an amazing amazing trip again I you know was really disconnected is exactly what I needed to really be in the moment and present and enjoy my trip and I'm glad I did because that was exactly what I needed I needed that time for myself um, you know to just um, figure out you know explore a new country a new city and just you know get to know the people the culture and just you know go and see them you know all the places i've been like dreaming about to see in person which again was so so surreal and just having time to really you know i'm glad that i planned it out the way i did for two weeks to kind of get a mini experience living as a local there it's always been a dream to live like in Europe or in the UK and it was just a nice way for me to get that mini experience I got a you know Ireland number temporarily while I was there for two weeks with my data so I still have that number for whenever I go back that I could use and you know attended some yoga classes as well there I tried two different yoga studios called Yoga Hub and um, Phil, Phil Z Barrow I think is how you pronounce it and then Camden um, Court that was another place but I really love the Camden Court um, because that was bigger had more studios very good looking guys there but um, this, the instructors were amazing at the other location as well you know just kind of you know walking around the city a lot instead of you know taking a taxi um, because that's the best way to explore a new place and discover hidden gems and I found so many places good spots locally and just asking locals like what they recommended um, and what are good spots to go to for like food things to do to watch sports as you know as much as I love my fashion and beauty I'm also a sports fan I love sports and especially soccer and um, that is huge of course um, around the world it's you know slowly picking up and getting bigger here in the US in America but that is something that's huge um, there in Ireland and you know just being able to watch the Gaelic games as well and um, it was just so nice to kind of travel around the country as well not just stay in Dublin but um, the, again there were so many places just within Dublin to see but doing day trips to Galway and to Belfast, that was so nice um, to just explore more of, you know, other cities within the country. And again, Northern Ireland, um, you, Belfast is Northern Ireland, which comes under the United Kingdom. So it's separate sovereign from the Republic of Ireland. And that's where Dublin is. And so they are two separate countries. Um, and um, just, you know, in case you didn't know that, but um, just want to share that again. But it was such an amazing trip. It was an amazing solo trip. Um, I had so much fun and I miss it. And, you know, I had so much content um, that, you know, I've been just sh slowly sharing since I've gotten back because I didn't post every single day while I was there because I really wanted. As a content creator, we're always on the go, always posting. It's part of our, you know, job. But at the same time, we need that mental break. Um, to just do nothing and just enjoy and do other activities and hobbies and so it was nice you know traveling to kind of disconnect you know again I captured moments and things I knew like this would be great content to share with you guys but at the same time just like not posting in the moment taking time and that is something um, as well on this trip to help me just kind of realign with my goals and what I want to do for 2024 my vision just how I want to create content, how I want to, you know, share that with you guys, what type of content. Um, so that's what I really was thinking about and just having that time to just like really just disconnect and think um, was really good for me. Um, so that way I can come back refreshed, reset and just, you know, like what do I want to focus on? Where do I want to focus my energies this year? My three, like my few big you know goals and 
priorities for me this year that was really important so yeah um and there's just so much you know about the culture so just like some things that i want to share with you guys that i just like takeaways again it was so nice to just stay in one place and explore it truly as local so that way i get the full experience of what it was like to be a local dubliner and i have to say that the irish people are so 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 warm and kind and friendly and just so helpful um they truly have made their presence around the globe as you know but there's more to them just than pubs you know it's the gaelic language um the sports their traditional dancing um their celtic roots um just their culture and way of life and just like that slow pace and just even though they're struggling and you know they've been through a lot um over the years um and such a small country they're still so mighty but um you know their resilience and their strength and their creativeness just again you're seeing a lot more creative people like in the industries and movies and art and singers and just other just not only like authors but um just they're you know making their way to um making their presence known across the globe and just like more you know um irish presence which is really really good and um right now um they're going through a huge housing crisis um and homelessness due to that and um they are the highest in all of europe um with the highest cost of living so it's been a major issue um and this is something i learned while i was there which was really nice to kind of just hear from people who are living there and just their experience and as much as they love their home a lot of them are moving out of ireland still because um they just can't afford rent and a lot of them are living with like roommates because they can't afford rent and um it's just you know their wages are lower even though there's a lot of you know opportunities jobs coming there a lot of tech company com tech companies coming there they still are not getting paid you know um higher um you know higher wages and then everything keeps going up as far as like rent and uh, utilities and um cars and gas and you know just everyday essentials and so that's been a huge problem and why people while so many locals are moving from ireland to america and australia just for better you know opportunities and more income and better way of life but still going back home to visit and you know hopefully maybe if things change they can come back but a lot of a lot of them are just settling in other places so it's something that i learned through um the immigration museum to learn about the irish people and their culture and just where their people have been and where they are now and just how they're still kind of facing these challenges but the one thing i really admired and loved was that they still remain in good spirits and you know know how to have fun um and one thing i really loved is like they really just like you know um love to socialize um i love people watching i don't know if you guys like doing that too but during the lunch hour everyone really is present they really like take their time compared to america they really take their time to enjoy their lunch they socialize they're not on their phone they're actually talking to one another face to face eye contact um which i thought was amazing and um we sh i feel like we need to adopt and do that more here and that's something i've been personally just doing more of myself so that way um, i can build those deeper connections with people and um that's something i really enjoyed and really loved that they do um they're really strict about their nine to five because um you know after work is just you know they have a really good work-life balance um they really want to make sure that they you know after work they're just like time with you know socializing and being with family and doing other activities so i really respect that um so there is a boundary um which i really really um um also respect and that's a lot like a lot of european countries as well too um not sure about the uk but i think so but for sure i know in europe and um it you know just the way of life everything's like slow paced compared to here in america which i appreciated so i could just like really be present in the moment and just like enjoy 
um, just everything. And so again, a lot of these things I came back to take with me um, and just, you know, continue doing here. I drink peppermint tea after every single meal there, um, which was like really good for gut health and just bloating and digestion. And that is something I've been continuing to do um, since I've been back. Um, and again, like being from Chicago, you know, I already know how cold it is here. So it was like mild weather there, which was like perfect and not um, as miserable as it is here as far as like the cold and how cold it gets and with the snow and rain. So even though they get rain and it's like gloomy a lot too, um, and you know, it's cold um, and it does warm up in the spring and summer, but um, they do get a lot of rain, but it's not as heavy and crazy, but the wind is definitely way windier than Chicago. I was getting like blown by the wind, but it does change every 15 minutes, which I thought was like funny and it was so true, like I, how Irish people complain about the weather and make fun of it, but it's just like rain, then sun, and then wind, and then, you know, rain, and it's, <laughs> it, and then cloudy, and so it was just, um, it was funny. Um, you know to hear about that and then like actually experience it as well um and one thing i did love is also the train train rides on my day trips to galway and belfast it was so easy so easy to get around dublin everything is super conveniently close um and i don't mind walking i love walking i'm a city girl born and raised in the city so i love walking and that's something that you know coming back it's just like i'm trying to do um as much as possible outside of fitness but to get my steps in because i did so much of it and my hotel was located in the perfect spot um near everything so i really you know was glad that i planned it out where it was like close i was just like at the center of just like near everything so it just made it super easy for me to get around and walk around and i just like miss my daily coffee run to get my matcha latte at my favorite um central brew coffee shop and the girls there the baristas knew my order and it was so nice again it's just like they just the irish people and even all the foreigners there was so much diversity with like so many foreigners there um so many different types of cuisines that i was able to try and eat as well as local irish food and so um the food was delicious everything again you're getting fresh from the farms in ireland from the coast from the seas and so everything was super fresh organic healthy and i you know did not feel bloated which was amazing because everything that's processed here in the u.s i like every time i eat out i'm like always super bloated and um yeah i didn't feel that way when i was in ireland um again being so close by so i just loved it. sorry i'm going all over the place but there's so much to share but um let me finish my thought so um yeah just so much diversity which i really loved so it was like nice to like talk to people and get to know them and from like where they're from and why they moved to ireland and a lot of them do move because they come there to for a better way of life to learn english um and just like work and earn income and then they go back to their home country and some settle there but most do move back and so that was something that you know again um that was kind of cool to um, um, learn and just meet new people and getting out of my comfort zone and just like talking to people and approaching them and it was a great icebreaker because again I'm traveling I'm new to Ireland asking for recommendations and just getting to know them um, I did go get my hair done three times at a salon so I really wanted that experience of being a local and then going and working at coffee shops to work on my content and everything and check emails so that was like really nice and it felt like when I came back to my hotel room it kind of felt like I was coming back to my apartment kind of thing it's just the way you know I had a beautiful view um, outside my uh, window um, of the city and so it was just so nice and um, since I was located again like I said close to everything I had three grocery stores near me literally across the street was Tesco that is their um you know grocery store and i love that everything um everyone uses like their own bags so they're like eco-friendly sustainable sh for shopping bags um there was another grocery store little which is um something that our local irish people i guess make fun of um and not their favorite i guess um and then also aldi so if you didn't know aldi did not start in america that's actually a european brand and um so i had aldi near me too so like all three were like nearby and like everywhere i went 
I saw these um, grocery stores, which made it super convenient for me to just go and grab a few items um, and have in have in stock in my room. So that way, you know, I just had water. I had some bananas. They don't have mini fridges in Ireland, which I thought was odd, but um, unless maybe you get like a suite or something like a penthouse, I guess, something more bougie, more like fancier hotels. But I stayed at a boutique hotel called Point A and they do have other locations, but honestly, the staff, the service, everything, my stay, the food was amazing. So I do recommend it and I will link it below. Um, and I found it through at hotel, which helps you actually save way more money than other um, hotel websites. So I'll link both of those below as well. But I had an amazing stay there. So, um, but yeah, it was just convenient. I took, you know, the taxi through Uber um, there, just like minimally. I didn't have to take it as much, but it was such a great experience. And so I did get some um, gifts that I, and some, treats for myself that I spoiled myself too in Ireland um, didn't go crazy but I just wanted you know to share with you guys what I bought from Ireland as well for myself and for my family but before I do that I wanted to share a um, new um, gift that I got um, part of a paid partnership so this portion of the video is an ad it's a paid partnership with Aris Arsis jewelry Arsis jewelry and um, it's these beautiful um, pearl and gold studded hoop huggy earrings that I am wearing so I want to take it off and share it with you guys um, show look show it up much closer so you guys just see Okay, so there we go. So here are the beautiful earrings. How gorgeous are these? So this is a London-based brand and they started, yeah, in London. Um, I'm forgetting the year, but um, look how beautiful the design is and the studs and everything. So these are the earrings. So this is the design and it's very unique and artistic. And you know my Missouri gold pearl huggy earrings that I wear all the time so this kind of reminds me of that but like a different version of it just like way more elevated and I've been wearing these like since I got them non-stop so I got these they arrived um by the time I came back from Ireland and um I've been wearing them non-stop they just look so gorgeous and so beautiful and just elevates like I'm just wearing a crew neck sweater you know jumper and it just elevates um my entire look and it just you know makes me feel like more put together and so beautiful but these are actually freshwater pearls as you saw and they are absolutely gorgeous so the concept of their designs are inspired by nature and um art which I really love and they are a sustainable and accessible brand so they're super affordable too um, which is really nice so that you're not breaking your bank um, for these pieces but this is one of their popular pieces and I will link this earring below but you have to check them out they have other beautiful um, designs that I have you know my eye on that I definitely want to get some other ones that I've seen of you know earrings um, and they have like you know necklaces and other jewelries too but oh my god these were my favorite and as soon as i saw these and they do these do come in silver as well but i wear gold as you know so i wear everything in gold and so this is just absolutely beautiful so it just elevates any look you can wear it every day um you know and i've been wearing them every day um and they just look absolutely stunning and so i actually absolutely love these so if you are looking for um some new jewelry that's affordable but that's also just like classy and elegant and timeless that are staples that are going to be in your um you know collection forever then i highly recommend checking out arsis jewelry again i'll link everything below and um these earrings but absolutely beautiful so now let's get to what i bought from ireland all right so first off let me share what i got for my family 
So, um, in Ireland, um, and I wanted to make sure that these were all like thoughtful gifts. I just didn't want to just get anything when I was there. So again, I saw so many gift shops. Um, so one is called um, Carol's Gifts. Yes, Carol's Gifts, and that is a great. Um, gift shop in Ireland um, they have them all over Ireland um, literally I saw so many stores so <laughs> there's not just one so when you're there you'll see it and um, there's so many things to choose from for pretty much everyone and then um, there was another gift shop as well like more like knitwear stuff which I'll get to um, that I bought for myself but um, so for my niece, I'm gonna start with my niece. <laughs> um, so what I got her from this um, gift shop, and again, I'll link all of this below if I can, you know, make sure that I find everything. But from what I got, but um, since she loves to wear jewelry, and um, I wanted something, you know, a little bit more special for her, you know, again that has something that resonates, you know, that's with her, but also to, you know. Um, from Ireland I bought um, this beautiful necklace and they had a bunch of jewelry in there and so what I got her how cute is this so it has her initial for her first for her first name so it's the initial of her first name and then it has the um, beautiful charm attached to it of the clove and um, you have the green stone in here and so oh my gosh it's absolutely beautiful this is um irish so silver plated jewelry and um so again these are all locally made in ireland and um i just loved the symbols on here and it's just like very unique again this is another celtic um symbol at the bottom of her initial but together this is just so cute i cannot wait for her to wear this um so i bought that for her and then my seven-year-old nephew was oh, so my niece's tech so my seven-year-old nephew he loves playing soccer and so when i was at trinity college at the gift shop i found this beautiful cute blue trinity college soccer ball again i wanted it to be something that um he loves he plays soccer he loves soccer and so i wanted something that he would really um cherish and he could put his room but also um i wanted him to kind of like learn and get to know about irish rugby so i got this little irish rugby um ball for him as well so both green and blue so his favorite color is blue and then a little bit of green from ireland and so um again i was just really thinking about what everyone you know likes and um something that i got from carol's gift shop as well was this beautiful um ireland tote bag and it has like different um it has photos of like pretty much like a cat recap of like all the places in ireland and you know the popular spots and locations and it says ireland and you got the clover right here and so this was what I was using every single day when I was out and about because I knew I was going to be like shopping. I had my um, my tripod in here because I knew I was going to film content when I was out and about um, and you know like water and things like that. Anything I could fit in there that um, I didn't need to put in my purse and so that just came in handy especially for shopping. And then um, for my Myself, I did buy this cute little Dublin um, uh, magnet for the fridge and I did get one for my parents as well which um, actually is downstairs but um, they but I got something similar for them and for my best friend I also got him um, the Irish flag but of the clove and that says Ireland in the middle so I got him that as a magnet just so he has as a memory for me. And then when I was at the Guinness storehouse um, uh, to do the tour at the end at the gift shop, I got myself some coasters from Guinness. And, but I want it to be truly unique to me and just like, you know, 
they have so many different coasters but I thought these two really resonated with me so I wanted the traditional like this is just like beautiful um, I know this this will go with any decor I have on my table um, so this is just like so nice which has the Guinness and it says um, St. James Gate Dublin and I think this is on the top it says the same thing but it's in Gaelic so I thought that was really beautiful and just me like memory for me and then um, I didn't go crazy I got two coasters and then um, I love this and it says um, black goes with everything Guinness so I just thought that was super cute just fashionable and just like I did love the Guinness um, when I was there so I thought these two were really nice um, gift ideas for me now I also did get um, for my brother-in-law I got him the um, magnet oh actually this one is for my brother this one is for my brother-in-law so I got my brother-in-law um, a op can opener um, from the Guinness um, um, Guinness storehouse at the gift shop so I got him this so again that he has something authentic from there and um, so that he has and then because he has like a really nice wet bar downstairs in their house and so this will come in handy and again I wanted something thoughtful where like every time he uses it you know it's like giving back he'll remember like I got this from Ireland and this was a gift I got for him now my sister she loves to cook she's really good at cooking and um, she's just like she's really good at cooking and just as good as my mom so I wanted to make sure that I got her something you know that represented her as well as something thoughtful so every time she uses this she's gonna remember me when I give it so how cute is this spatula that says Dublin with the three leaf clove and so I bought this for her again this is actually a unique handmade oak made in Ireland again everything's made in Ireland and so that's what I really loved about um, all these gifts because they're again giving back to the locals this is all made in Ireland and that was really something that I was making sure that I um, was adamant about getting gifts um, from Ireland that were all made in Ireland and so this is for my sister and so that's what I got for her and then for my brother um, since he also um, got married last year and my sister-in-law is actually a quarter Irish um, I wanted to get him something that they'll have in their home um, you know I know that they use coasters and again something thoughtful and just like that he'll remember every time um, I give this to him so this is from the Guinness um, storehouse and this is for um, coasters and they all say Guinness on here and so I got this and again these are like great neutral colors that they can use um, on their table um, or their bar cart they have it and then I did get my brother as well a you know can opener too and then this one is actually Irish whiskey so I got him the Bushmills Irish whiskey can opener and this is actually also a magnet um, but comes in handy and so that is from her brother now for my sister-in-law she gets the choice of one of these bookmarks now she loves to read and so since I know that again something that every time she reads she is going to use this think of me um, that you know I gave and so I'm gonna give her the choice of which one she wants but um, I'm hoping she goes with this one because this is the Clara on there and um, it's um, I think this is really beautiful but it's again it's up to her and so this one is with the Celtic harp and so again both are different and unique but I know that she loves to read so again something just like you know thoughtful gifts that will continue to give back to to them and then for my baby nephew now he is three years old and he's a toddler now but um, he loves 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 Peppa Pig so I was lucky enough to come across one um, of the Carol's uh, Irish gift stores where they had 
Peppa Pig goes to Ireland. <laughs> and so, Peppa goes to Ireland. This was the perfect book when I saw it. It was the only one. So I felt like it was like meant to be when I walked in and found this book. So I bought this for him and he is going to, I'm sure this is available too, the online, you can probably find it. Um, but, oh my gosh, as soon as I saw this, this is a uh, story time with me and my nephew and um, he's already reading and so that is the reason why I got him this book so not only can I read this for him but he's gonna read it to me because he's already reading he's like super smart um, and reading so fast he's already been reading at three and so at uh, three years old and so and already starting to write letters and everything so he's like way ahead of the game and um, so I got him this he's gonna he's gonna love this so much and so this is gonna be our special cuddle time on the couch or bedtime and um, reading this book together um, he's gonna be actually here in Chicago um, during spring break in March again um, as his family his parents and siblings go on a cruise and enjoy themselves and he's gonna be with me so story time it is and then now let's get to what I got for myself. So I bought myself um, a few things. So I wanted something that was local to Ireland and I wanted um, a really nice wool soft um, scarf and um, this was my perfect time to get it there. So I ahead of time was looking um, online and I came across um, a brand called Aran Sweater Market and so they are actually a real island off the west coast of Ireland like probably it's, it's a small island like a bunch of Aran Islands not far from Galway on the west side of Ireland and so they have the cutest sheeps in Ireland you have to look up pictures of them but I wanted a scarf a wool scarf all made handmade in Ireland and so I got this from Aran sweater market and this was the color that I was specifically looking for first time I walk into the store I see it and I was like that's the one <laughs> that's the one when um, and it all has their authentication as well so it all is here as well um, all handmade um, 100 percent wool that's what I was looking for but I want it to be really soft wool and not like itchy and this is like so soft and I absolutely love the color combination it goes again I was thinking about like I wanted to make sure that it also matches with a lot of things and it does so it has have that beautiful Irish emerald green that beautiful like royal navy blue and the black and this was the color that you know I was you know been on my mind about getting and actually this kind of reminds me of my catholic school days because and most of you know that most irish people are catholic um but northern ireland there's also catholic and protestants but um yes so this reminds me of catholic school days because my skirt was plaid and it was exactly this color combination and i guess that stayed with me and i know that each year the color Pal like the plaid skirt changed you know based on your grade and so they did have different ones but I just remember like this one was probably my favorite um, color palette from the plaid skirt in my Catholic school days of my skirt and so I don't know that's just kind of stuck with me and um, yeah and so <laughs> I guess that's how they get you <laughs> but um, yeah this is just so nice I've been wearing this every single day and now um, I looked at the other color, um, you know, wool scarves that they had, but um, the other ones didn't really catch my eye except for I wanted to, again, make sure this versatile matches and mixes perfectly with my wardrobe. So I found this one. So the next time I went into another Iran sweater market, and again, they have multiple locations, which is also convenient in Ireland, um, I felt like this resonated this kind of felt like a dupe of the Burberry scarf on to be honest and I love the color palette again it has the black it has the white it has that beautiful like camel color and then the red and so again this is so easy to mix and match with different coats and outfits and again so incredibly soft I've been wearing 
both of these scarves nonstop, and they are the softest wool I have ever, ever um, touched. And so again, I know where to go and buy some more. You can also check online. So again, I will link these below but you'll be able to find you know these beautiful wool scarves and they were not expensive to be honest i think and i'm saying this they were not that expensive i think they were under or around or less than like 30 euros and for the quality and being handmade and everything from ireland i think they should be charging more so um it's just phenomenal quality and i just think that the art Tizians, um who make this need to be recognized for their craftsmanship and um, I honestly think that they should be charging more um, and I'll still buy it <laughs> but yes this is so beautiful and honestly a steal um, for the quality the price is just accessible and affordable but I think that they need to be charging more just my thought um, because it is high quality and amazing so that is what I got and then I got myself the clatter ring so for those of you if you don't know what what the clatter ring is this is a traditional Irish ring and so what it means is um, it symbolizes the crown is for loyalty the heart is for love and the hands are for friendship now when you wear it upside down like this, like I am, that means my heart is not given to someone. When I flip it the other way, it means that my heart is given to someone, so I'm taken. And then also, this is, in traditional Irish, um, also an engagement ring as well. So, now, why did I get this? Because um, I actually grew up with a lot of Irish influence since I was little, honestly, to be honest. Um, I had so much Irish influence growing up, you know, and I, when I was in elementary school, that's when I started seeing the clatter ring. And a lot of my um, classmates wore this and I asked them what it represented and why they were wearing this. It just was like, it just really touched me. And um, when I was 18, I bought myself a silver one and at a Celtic store near me again and um, and again I have Irish in my family as well and so I just you know I've been growing up with Irish influence all my life and I just love what it represented and I was so sad when um, like two years later when I was 18 and I bought my ring from where I originally bought it um, at my job at my banking job um, I took it off to put lotion and then I was gonna put it back on and I dropped it and then disappeared and I couldn't find it so I was so sad that I lost it and I never found it again but now that I was going to Ireland I was like oh, heart set on finding a new one and I wanted it to be gold because I don't wear silver jewelry anymore I only wear gold and I wanted something dainty I wanted something that was just minimalistic but just like stood out and when I was actually at Trinity College after my tour the gift shop I saw that they had the little kind of pendant um, necklace and I asked the guy do you actually have rings in gold like and they did they were locked up and so this is actually nine carat um gold so um in ireland they don't really have a whole lot of gold so their gold is not as like for as like in india we have like very like 18 carat 22 carat gold right um so nine carat i was like i'm good uh, i'll get it <laughs> and so this was um definitely um, a bigger purchase um, I did get a bot refund um, from this as well and so uh, I just love it and I it just reminds me every single day more so for me to give what I want and seek in someone else I want to make sure that I'm giving that to myself first so I track that in return and so this won't be turned around until the man um, that is worthy of me proves it and you know um, commits and so for the long term and um, you know we're in it together for the long t long haul that's when um, I will turn this around so this is just a special reminder for me and it's also hopefully a good reminder for you guys but that's why this is special to me and why I was so happy now I can say I actually bought it in Ireland and um, it's just extra special now so the last thing I bought 
from Ireland is this Grizz Dior fragrance. Now, I've been, um, I had a sample of this and with um, some Dior makeup products that I had gotten and oh my god, now I understand the hype of this fragrance and it is absolutely gorgeous. Ugh. So I understand the hype of this look of this fragrance like just look at the bottle and this is actually the um, smaller size um, or the medium like yeah there's like a much more massive size and then there's this one but this is just like almost like a full-size bottle so this is like perfect again it was like over 240 euros and I did get a vet bought refund for this as well but the scent of this is um it's a warm floral scent. It has jasmine and other notes in it. I'm forgetting. But you guys have to smell this. And I love that this specific um, Dior collection, the Privé collection, is unisex. And so I love that. Um, and um, with this, because I got it, um, the lady that was helping me at the Brown Thomas store. So Brown Thomas, their, their department store is similar to like a Nordstrom in America or Neiman Marcus or Saks Fifth Avenue or Bloomingdale's so it's like very like fancy bougie all of the high-end brands and everything and so this oh my god I I've been wearing this like non-stop it's just it smells so good it smells all day long all night the next day I smelled it in my coat still I smelled it in my scarves my scarves that I got from Ireland I wore this so much like it just smells like amazing like the scent the last the just like the payoff on the scent lasts so long and um she was so kind enough because i bought that she gave me two little mini bottles as well so this is the small mini chris dior look how cute this bottle is Okay, so look how cute this bottle is. This is the mini one. And um, so this one actually is not a spray, as you can see, it's not a spray. It, um, you have to dab it and then put your finger, or actually what I have gotten in India with one of my little fragrances at the palace when I went is this um, little wand here, perfume wand. So all I do is just dip it into the bottle and then rub it onto my skin so this is actually handy for this perfect it was like meant to be it was just waiting for you know the right fragrance to do that with well we got it and then she also gave me another little mini one which i thought was good and i smelled literally the entire line to find the right fragrance but i kept coming back to this one because that was my favorite but i think i found a new second so this one is oud ispahan I think that's how you say it probably butchering this but this is um, so this is the other one if I can get okay there we go so this is the other one Oud Ispahan and oh my god this one smells amazing too I love Oud and this has Damascus Rose in it so this one the Gris Dior is like a warm florally musk like, um, not musky powdery scent and this one is like that warm floral like I don't know how to say it like musky scent there you go musky scent so I got cut off there from recording but so I'll wrap this up <laughs> that's what my camera is telling me so oh my god this smells phenomenal and um, so definitely go and check out their um, fragrance line from this La Privé collection I'm so happy with my purchase nonstop and that's what you want from fragrance. You want to be able to wear it and love it every single day and just like be able to still like the scent pay off as well. So that is everything I got from Ireland, you guys, and um, I will link all of this as much as I possibly can find from those gift shops. Um, Carol's Gift Shops, Iran Sweater Market, Brown Thomas, and um, again, you can find these obviously fragrance here in the in America, but um, that is everything. So I'm gonna clean up here, head downstairs, have some dinner, and get some stuff done this evening. But um, 
glad to be back home um I'm ex I was just like so happy I can finally share just everything I did in Ireland I miss it so much and still um, have to post in my stories if you go over at Instagram check out um, you know everything I've been posting from my Ireland trip um, as well as my outfits I uh, apologize again I didn't have time to share what I was wearing every single day in the vlog that you saw in, pre in the previous vlog of Ireland but I've been sharing it in my shorts and on Instagram my outfits that I wore in Ireland so definitely check it out there so I would love for you guys to join like you know join the family over at Instagram and follow me there so I'll leave that handle somewhere up here as well and um, I will have more behind the scenes that I still haven't shared that I'm planning to share in my stories on Instagram so hopefully by the time you guys see this they'll already be in my stories and saved in my Ireland highlight um, highlight reel in my bio and so you guys will see it there but yes um i'm so happy um of my trip it was just amazing and i can't wait to go back i definitely want to go back when it's warmer and because there's so much still to see in ireland and i highly recommend um that you guys go check it out um if you haven't checked out my previous vlog of the ireland trip go there so you guys can see like all the places and things i did that i've linked and um plan your next ireland trip to the beautiful emerald isle so until my next vlog, I will see you guys later. Bye!